getting old. So, let me just catch my breath. I carried this one meter and I'm already out of breath. So, welcome to Scandinavia, guys, and the hobby room. Actually, the new hobby room, but that's another story. Thought I would take you along on this day. I got a box to sort out. It's a battered old box. I paid around 100 euro for it locally after one photo of it on the internet. I had a, a quick sneak peek at it the day I got it home, but yeah, but it's just been sitting around here for a couple of weeks. So I'm finally ready to take a closer look at what's inside the box. Is it Tamiya trash or Tamiya gold? Let's find out. Yeah, so if you're one of the orthodox Tamiya collectors that only collect the real vintage stuff, I think you will be very disappointed and you will already know that this is Tamiya trash to you. And I will also say that I know that everything in this box isn't at all Tamiya. So with that being said, I think the question is if this is gold or trash to me, the owner. But yeah, if you're familiar with the old four-wheel drive chassis just before the TT02B, this is a DF02 and it's a rising storm and looks like to be an XB model. Let's have a closer look at the cars over at the table. We got another DF02. Is it thrash? <laughs> I don't know. I definitely had a sneak peek at it and I saw some missing links in this. But yeah, a DF02. Another one. I think it looks like an XB model as well. A gravel hound. Maybe a TA02. No, this is actually more in the field of trash to me. This is a QD model. Still a nice body, but yeah, I don't know what I will do with this personally. So we've got another buggy here. Oh, two buddies. That's nice. In the photo and at my sneak peek, I didn't discover that. So yeah, anybody familiar with this chassis? So this is actually before the DF02. Anyone? Write it in the comments and I will surprise one or two of you later. So I will just get it sorted out and quickly laid out on the table and inspect it one by one. So we got them on my little sofa table here at the new hobby room. There's some Tamiya friends over there. And yeah, there's definitely a bit more gold than I first thought out of the pictures and my sneak peeks. So I think I will be all right having paid 100 euro for this lot, no matter what working condition these buggies are in. Let's just start with the DFO2s which is actually why I got this box. So yeah, a couple of DFO2 buggies, four wheel drive buggies. This is an entry level buggy that was replaced by the TT02B and this itself replaced the TL01B as the entry level. The cheapest four wheel drive entry level model from Tamiya. But yeah, XB models, definitely by the looks of the, the uh, bodies, but no tire thread left on any of these. So these definitely need some, yeah, new tires. I think the wheels are okay, but I also discovered, yeah, bent shocks here. 
think a minor bend tower here and definitely XB model with the original XB. XB stands for expert build and these are RTR models, RTR ready to run Tamiya models. So the standard electronics from Tamiya from around the zeros and yeah the silver can and everything and yeah this definitely have seen better, better days so something broke here with this steering and somebody tried to do a bit of repair with some glue or epoxy or whatever it is seems to have worked a little but definitely nothing worth saving especially because it also got the common breakage in the weak spot of the dfo2 here so the dfo2 is known for the breakage of the suspension mounts and the suspension mounts is built into the chassis and when the suspension mounts breaks the whole chassis breaks and needs to be replaced so it definitely got the common breakage here i think a lot of the other parts can be reused after some more closer examination got the other dfo2 here and the other common weak spot on the dfo2 is the front shock towel which basically basically just breaks or bends by looking at it got some drive shafts missing also they were probably lost in one of the breakage seems like somebody tried to re-glue this too so the gearbox is actually re-glued to the front shock tower but xb electronics here i actually like to use these for my re-releases when i built these it's a nice cheap way to get a full blood tamiya re-release from the 80s with all Tamiya electronics but yeah chassis actually seems okay on this one some other other parts need to be replaced and refound oh i forgot a couple of good 27 megahertz xpec ttu 03 Tamiya yeah rtr uh, transmitters too so I will check the electronics and check everything in another video. Let's check what it's is in this box. I think it's a set of Carson model sport. Carson is owned by Digitama Tamiya in Europe. So some good tires for on-road models. As I said, there's some um, star dish, dish wheels probably to this one which got the non-tamiya tires and wheels this is for the other buggy yeah i just got this this looks actually looks pretty nice an lrp rest in peace <laughs> model or oh, motor here brushed i think it's uh, hmm. 21,500 rpm so a pretty decent motor here yeah and a Carson ESC to go where it seems unopened so I hope these will actually work because these are actually pretty nice got some Ansman chargers here some old nickel metal hydrate batteries that are probably all dead by now i hope to see some tamiya parts here for the dfo2 broken servo saver yeah Maybe there's some parts for the D 
DFO2, but it looks like some body mount for something else. Nothing of great value here, but definitely these two, I hope they will work and it will definitely make it all worthwhile. It seems like a father and son project from the old days, 20 years old maybe, with two chargers and nickel metal hybrid batteries and two buggies of the same type. So I just hope they had a lot of fun with this. Let's get to the mystery. Those who are familiar with the TL01 chassis from Tamiya, that was the entry level uh, four wheel drive chassis from Tamiya that was replaced by the DF02 and the TT01, there's a Suzuki SX4 over there, TT01. But that was the previous version of the entry level four wheel drive version. It came in a touring car version. There's my first one. I got recently my first TL01 and there was also a TL01B. And this is actually the TL01B Badger King. Or is it? There's another one over there that have seen better days, I think. And somebody had some fun with some on-road tires. But let's get to it. Just remove this. So I don't know if you can see, if you can zoom in here. High boxing, high boxing, HBX. Got a lot of them over there. But this is actually not a Tamiya, but an HBX. Yeah, so this is a spitting image of the TL01B chassis or the TL01 chassis in general from Tamiya. My theory is that it was licensed to HBX high boxing in their early days before they started making their own versions. I actually like the brand. I think they have brought a lot of joy to young hearts and beginners with some cheap good models. And yeah, I think this one was licensed from Tamiya when they started making the DFO2 and the TT01 and abandoned the TL01 chassis. But then again, it could be a total knockoff, a ripoff of Tamiya from HBX in the early days. I do not know if you got some info or some theories. I would love to hear it in the comment section. But yeah, it's definitely not new. But I think this one is actually in running order. I haven't seen or noticed any cracks apart from the, all the dust and dirt. So it might actually run and I will be able to try out a TL01B, but in a high boxing version. I'm looking forward to that. This was just a bonus. Why I bought it was these two models. This was also a pretty nice bonus if they work and if this work it's an even nicer bonus because I can try out a Badger King. There was also a Badger Champ I think with a similar body but a bit different from this one. But yeah, that's the story behind that and I will probably make another video with this one entirely. This one, it's definitely for spare parts, or maybe I can replace it with a cheap Tamiya TL01 chassis and actually make it work. I have no serious plans about that. My plans concern these two over here, and I will definitely see you in another video with these two, together with a reboot of my old DF02 over there. That's it from now. I will see you in another video, my friends. And yeah, all of us love to say is happy holidays and keep them 
running. Thank you.